Welcome to our comprehensive guide on all things rainwater harvesting. In this video, we'll discover this ancient practice that has renewed relevance in the modern era. Whether you're a homeowner, a farmer, or a property developer, understanding rainwater harvesting can help you contribute to sustainable water management and help you reduce your costs. Rainwater harvesting is simply the process of collecting, filtering, and storing rainwater for later use. The process has been around for thousands of years, and there's even evidence of rainwater storage tanks being used over 6,000 years ago. Today, rainwater harvesting can be used in various applications for both rural and urban settings. These include irrigation of garden and crops, household uses that use non-possible water, so toilet flushing and washing machines, industrial processes, car washes, and even water for livestock. By capturing rainwater that would otherwise become runoff, we can reduce demand on mains water and mitigate the effects of drought and water scarcity. Did you know that the average person uses 150 litres of water every day? and 50% of that amount can be substituted by using rainwater instead of mains water. There are three different types of systems you'll likely come across when looking into rainwater harvesting, and each different type of system is better suited to different types of needs. The first is garden-only systems. These typically consist of an underground tank buried in the garden with a submersible pump, and whenever there is demand, the pump kicks in, and you can then water the garden with the rainwater that has been collected. The next are direct systems. These systems work in a similar way to garden-only systems, with the pump working on demand whenever there is a drop in pressure. But with a direct system, you can then use the rainwater back into the property or building for toilet flushing and washing clothes. The final type of system is an indirect system. The main difference between this type of system and a direct system is that there is a header tank usually in the roof space of the property, and rainwater is then gravity fed to the appliances whenever they're being used. You may now be interested and in considering installing a rainwater harvest system for your home. But what do you actually need to consider before you actually do so? First, you want to assess your needs as this will determine what you want to use the rainwater for and what type of system you'll therefore install. Then you want to evaluate your site to determine the catchment area as this will help determine the tank size and also the space available for installing the tank, whether you're going to install it in the garden or under the driveway. Then you want to check with local regulations to ensure that you're installing the system in compliance with local building authority. Then you want to make sure you choose the right system components, so the right tank, the right lid, the right filter, and the right pump package. Then you want to determine the storage tank size, which you can do so with our online rainwater harvesting tank size calculator, which is available to use on our website. Then you want to determine the layout of your system, so make sure you're happy with where you're installing the tank, but also consider where you're installing other components such as the pump package. First, you want to prepare the site and make sure any excavation work is done. Then you want to install all the underground pipe work leading from your gutters and your downpipes, place the storage tank in the excavation, connect all the relevant incoming pipe work to the tank, set up the filter and the pump package that's come with your system, then finally connect any pipe work going back into the property, and then you want to make sure you test the system to ensure it's all working correctly. Obviously, when it comes to installing a rainwater harvest system, there's going to be costs involved. These can vary on the type of tank and the size of the system, so it's good to consider the following for purchasing one. The main cost is obviously the initial investment itself, so this is the purchase of the tank, the hire of any plant you want on site, and obviously buying any services from other companies that you want to help you install the system. The next main cost is obviously the ongoing servicing and maintenance of the system and any further energy costs you may incur due to the pump running. But don't worry, it's an automatic pump that runs intermittently depending on demand. However, on the flip side, if you're on a meter, you could incur lower water bills as you're using less mains water. Plus, a good system could help to increase the value of your property. Rainwater harvesting is a great solution for sustainable water management. By implementing these systems, we can significantly reduce our costs, reduce our environmental impact, and increase our resilience to water scarcity. Whether you're considering a small-scale system for your home, or a larger installation, the principles and benefits remain the same. As we face increasing challenges with our water resources, implementing practices like rainwater harvesting becomes essential. We encourage you to explore how rainwater harvesting can work for your specific needs and situation. And remember, every drop counts in helping to create a more sustainable future. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a future video. And if you've got any questions about rainwater harvest systems, then leave them in the comments below.